All right. All right. All right. Thus did all of Olympus journey deep into the underworld, all together for the very first time. The Queen Persephone revealed herself in all her splendor, much to their surprise, and told them everything she indicated to her son. She eloped with Grim Lord Hades, she said, mothering a fire-stepping prince who sought to reconnect with his extended family. Hades and Persephone at first refused his wish, but so moved were they by his relentless struggles to the surface that at last they decided to heed their willful Zagreus and reach out, for his and everybody's sake. The Olympians listened to all this in stunned silence. Then Zeus himself began to laugh. Welcome back into the family, he said. After the shock subsided, the festivities began. I say, big brother, you and your better half put on a positively smashing night. It's a relief for all of us, knowing Persephone is safe and sound, and mother to as noble of a son as my good nephew there. Well, little brother, the Queen and I in turn appreciate you all taking time out of your doubtless busy lives to come all this distance to my house. I'm certain that it's very modest in comparison to Mount Olympus, but I trust that you were suitably entertained. Oh, <laughs> of course, of course, Hades. Now then, farewell, and let us keep in better touch from here. Hmm. Farewell indeed, Lord Zeus. When finally the great feast ended, all the Olympians returned to their mountain abode, fully satisfied. As for the house of Hades, it required thorough cleansing, from the rafters to the floor. Such revelry, of course, is unbecoming of the name of Hades and the fearsome reputation of the underworld. For if mortals were to have no fear of death, then they would have no fear of anything at all. A well-kept family secret, then, this would live on to be. I'd say that went about as well as could have been expected. And the cleanup wasn't all that bad, for the most part. Well, fortunate Uncle Zeus seemed to catch on right away and went along with it. But this whole elaborate tale you spun, I remember how hurt I felt when I found out Father lied to me about you. Now we're lying to Olympus. What if they find out? Even if they don't, I don't like it. Zagreus, I may not be an expert, but here's what I've come to understand about how families work. At least our own. The thing is, how we speak to one another is even more important than the words we use. I think, deep down, everyone in our family knows this. You're saying they all knew you weren't being perfectly honest and went along with it anyway. I guess the pomegranate thing in particular was a bit of a stretch. The common ground in our family is that we want peace. Besides Ares, though even he would rather the conflict occur elsewhere. That elaborate tale, it's less a deception and more a concession. A way of saying, let's move on from the past and start anew. No hard feelings. You don't have hard feelings. What about father? What about Demeter? Well, let's see. My hard feelings are nothing next to the joy of having my son in my life. Your father never imagined his relationship with me could be out in the open. And my mother, She's just glad I'm alive. And Uncle Zeus is glad things didn't turn out worse for him. I get the sense he acts a bit impulsively at times and deals with the consequences later. What can I tell you, Zagreus? We're family. You've said it yourself to me before. We're stuck with one another. That any of us like each other in the slightest. It's a wonder and a blessing, I think. Yeah, I know what you mean. Thanks, Mother. I think I'll be heading out again soon. See you when I get back. Sounds good. I'll see you then. What can I do? Achilles in the spotlight.
This one's for you, Three-Face. 